हेलो एवरीबडी दिस इज माही तिवारी टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू प्रेजेंट माई प्रोजेक्ट ऑन द टॉपिक रिवर रोवर एंड माई थीम इज वेस्ट मैनेजमेंट सो टूडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट वॉटर बॉडीज एंड क्लीनलीनेस द मेन एम ऑफ द प्रोजेक्ट इज टू टेक अ स्टेप टूवर्ड्स क्लीनिंग वॉटर बॉडीज मेकिंग डर्टी वॉटर बॉडीज एज क्लीन एज पॉसिबल सो आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट एन इन्वायरमेंट प्रॉब्लम which affect the water bodies and also i'll tell you an effective way of water pollution so first you must be wondering that why do you need my project let's talk about this first let's talk about the problem you know one of the major problem is pressure of population i meant to say a lot of population leads to need of lots of crops then need to put a lot of nitrates fertilizers onto the land but there are some negative impacts of these chemicals one of the negative impact is that if you put lot of fertilizers into the land not all of it goes to the crops lots of it stays in the soil and due to rain these chemicals go into the water bodies leading to water pollution streams lakes rivers and seas but that's not the problem for example algae algae loves nitrates it loves fertilizers so it will take these chemicals then it will lead to mass produce of more algae it's called a bloom this bloom causes lack of oxygen in water due to which other aquatic animals in the water can't survive so we need to remove water pollution and it will not just save lives but it will do more so we will make robot that will eat the pollution that fields have produces now you must be thinking that how this robot will benefit us let's talk about this economically according to the indian budget document on an average 1000 crore is spent every year by indian government to clean water bodies this is a huge amount of money but on the other hand my robot will only cost 200 to 300 rupees to clean water bodies imagine if we will use more than 10000 robots once at a time then it will just cost rupees 3 crore and our water bodies will be cleaned an advantage is that this robot is biodegradable and we don't need to take it back so imagine if we are just spending 3 crore on cleaning water bodies in the place of 1000 crore it is cost effectively and also it will clean indian water bodies perfectly it will also benefit the indian economy a lot to actually make the robot i took the idea from two organisms on the left side you can see a basking shark it is a massive shark it's non carnivorous so you can swim with it the basking shark opens its mouth and it swims through the way collecting plankton as it does that it digests food and then it uses that energy to keep moving so we could make a robot like basking shark that chugs through the water and eats pollution but we also take the inspiration from other organisms i have got a picture of water bird man on the left side when it's swimming in the water it uses its pedal like structure or you can say pedal like legs to push itself forward so we take those two organisms and we combine them to make a robot now the material required to make the robot is cardboard rubber a plastic or glass box some wires four metal balls we can also use other material balls if needed and lastly we will need a microbial fuel cell it's important to know more about the main component that is microbial fuel cell this cell we are talking about is like a chemical fuel cell so chemical fuel cell takes hydrogen and oxygen and they combine to make electricity this cell has the same principle it will have oxygen on one side but instead of having hydrogen on the other side it will have a soup now what that soup will be it will be living microbes yes my friend living microbes the most interesting thing is the principle behind the project the principle is that we will make electricity from microorganisms microorganisms decompose organic or inorganic matter in the anode chamber to produce electrons these electrons flow from anode to cathode via an external circuit made of conductive materials such as copper based wires to generate electricity 
and you will take some organic metal like waste products some food and you put it in it the microbes will eat the food and it will turn into electricity the microbes will also eat the algae let's take an example alkanivorks alkanivorks can help us to kill crude oil present in water bodies and fungi like aspidigalus niger can be used for killing fertilizers and nitrates present in the water that are responsible for mass produce of algae in the same way other microbes can be used for other water problems here you can see the basic structure of the robot the robot will be made up of four parts as you can see and those four parts are real like the parts of organisms it will have a brain a mouth a body to move and a stomach it will be needing the stomach to create energy its body will be made out of cardboard we take other materials too it will sit on the top of the water and will have flippers on the side as pedals that will help it to move just like the water bottle it will have two mouths one will be to let food go in and the other is to let go food out so one to eat and other to excrete so it will start looking like a basking shark now let's know the working the front and back mouth will be open then it will start to move forward in the water and we collect waste products then it will digest its food by sitting somewhere and will produce electricity you can also see the top and side view of the model here you can see the model here the front mouth and back mouth is open and it will stay open enough then the robot is starting to move forward as you can see in the video it moves through the water and food go in and the waste products go out from the other mouth once it has moved enough it stops and then it closes its mouth and you can see it sit and will digest the food thank you everybody hope you liked the idea